Damn, this man looking drippy like always, man. This show is good. This show is good. All right, dick cheese? <laughs> Good evening, Maji. Gang, you already know what the deal is. We're back here with some more Tokyo Revengers. That's right, we're reacting to two episodes today. As you can see, I have the same shirt. What the hell is that, a hair? We're gonna get into it. Hopefully it's good, hopefully it's great. You already know the deal. I know that um, since I'm watching the uncensored version, the only reason why I watch the uncensored version is because I personally, I don't wanna sound like a psychopath. I personally, I like gritty like animes that have a little bit of like gore and blood or like, cause it feels like it has more consequence to it if that makes sense. And I like that personally. I don't like the little kiddish, oh, you get plot armor, you get plot armor, you get plot armor. Like, I just love when one of the main characters can just die out of nowhere or something. It shows that there's consequence within the anime. Other than that, if you guys are new, make sure you leave a like, rate, comment, subscribe below, and become a butcher today for your daily slice of happiness. Helps out the channel a ton, helps me make more videos for you guys, so please, 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 make sure you got that bell ringing to stay notified for more Tokyo Revengers so you can watch that shit with me. Without further ado, let's get into it. Episode six, baby. Let's do it. Mikey. Mikey. Okay, so this is a recap. I'm gonna skip this recap. My man with the gray, bro, this dude, it's like Kilowa with short hair. So, all right, my, <laughs> bro, Mikey acts like such a little kid. It's funny. He knows you're there, bro. He's like, bro, why are you watching me? Mikey. Drinking dies on August 3rd. I was born in Shibuya's red light district. No idea who my dad is. Damn. My mom was a prostitute. Jeez. She up and left when I was two. My home is a brothel. Need a tug. Damn. Were they just basically saying you want to get like a, a handy? <laughs> the smell of lube? What? Okay, so his real name is Ken. So that's Draken's story. So he grew up with prostitutes. Pretty painful. Who's that? That's where he got the tattoo from. He was so little to get a tattoo. I'm surprised they gave it to him. I never got a tattoo on my head, but I got two tattoos on my arm. And I got what I like to call a prison tattoo. This little dot right there, someone stabbed me with a pencil in kindergarten. <laughs> I'm going to show this shit off. <laughs> That's how it always feels. You're like, damn, I gotta show this thing off. I was taller than most of the middle school kids. Exactly, this man was tall. Oh my god! Damn! <laughs> you better hide when you see this dragon. Damn. Even most of the middle school kids didn't mess with me. They had literally beat the pants off of the floor, so I couldn't say enough. So this was a different gang? That kid from 7th Elementary. The kid who made a name for himself after he beat down Vaticans. Or Vaticans. Why did I say Vaticans? Drag Mikey's ass over here. Damn. Even I don't think I could take down a high schooler, especially a strong one. So his job is to bring Mikey there, and that's how they met? Maybe? I want to throw hands with Mikey. I want to throw hands. Damn! This man looking drippy like always, man. How he always looks so drippy? Bunch of the 48 positions overlap, don't they? <laughs> this man's... He's freaking... Fucking all lollipop and shit. I never get the f to 40. You're Mikey. Yes, sir! 
中学の先輩が君のこと呼んでこいって。うん。いや。I'm not gonna force you. いいよ。え？お前のためにだから聞いてる。So sure. I'm gonna go set my stuff down at school. Dang, so he's with it. He's gonna go follow him anyway, even though he knows that they want to beat his ass. Don't even know how to react. I bet this fifth squeak is gonna get the stuffing kicked out of him instantly. Are they both gonna kick these guys' asses? That would be sick. That would actually be real sick. There's Coca Cola on the floor. Oh! He's going! He's going for it! <laughs> He's quick. They said Donda. Oh my god! Just stomped on his face right there. Oh, you hear the freaking guitar riff? Oh god! You had one of those Tootsie Pops. Mama's boy is gonna gang up on others want with me. Dang. So he's crazy, like he's batshit crazy. <laughs> this guy's mouth got busted. Oh, uh, I wanted to I wanted to see him beat all the others' asses. For real. Let's be friends. So that's how they became friends then. Okay. That makes more sense. That was sick, though. I kind of wanted to see more. Man's is quick. Oh, he got the same tattoo, but on the neck. Damn, is that him in the future? He gave me bad intel about Mikey and Drake and being friends with each other. So they're going to try to find the... I don't know if he's a leader, but they're going to go find the Mobius gang members and try to figure out what's going to go on. That guy is ugly. Hmm. How long does it take you? Okay, is that the guy man? Okay, so that was the leader of Mobius? Really? Dang. So what happened to him? <laughs> Coffee! You already know the deal, Coffee! Mmm! Since he's retired now, they're able to ask him because he won't freaking kill him. Uh oh. Never mind. Maybe I ch maybe I, I was wrong. He's pretty pissed. Something bad must have happened then. A member of Mobius stabbed him. Dang! No remorse, but he is a freaking cop. Maybe there was a traitor within the game that kind of like didn't listen to him or something. Because why would he be broken up over that stuff from the past like this right now? Something bad had to happen. We didn't kill him. That was just the trigger. The guy told him started having internal conflicts. So he was right then, somehow. Drake and die. It was all part of his plan. His. So, so some mysterious person stabbed Drake and apparently. That was inside of the game. Hmm. So he's scared of whoever that is now. I feel like it might be that freaking weirdo with the glasses and the shaved side head or whatever. That was when um, Akun jumped off, he was watching. Maybe it was him. Oh, they have to stop the fight? Damn. Kinda wanted to see that. Going back, back to the past. So he's trying to change his future so he can stay out of the gang, become a hairdresser, and live happily. Maybe he won't look like a meth head when he does that. If he does that, let me be your first customer. 
Better not forget that. <laughs> Alright, so... Gonna try to save him. I wanna save everyone. Some warehouses. Okay. Oh, they're getting set up. They're getting ready. Rock. That's what his freaking shirt says. Rock. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? What the hell are you doing here? Damn. Why they act like assholes? Who cares? Just here. Really important right now. Can you call out this fight? Uh, huh? But someone's secretly pulling the strings. Oh no. This dude. Hmm. Could it possibly be like these guys are the inside men and they just want like nothing actually happened to them They just want to actually make them fight each other. I Don't know man What the hell damn Why are they letting this guy beat his ass? Damn. We're gonna fight Mobius anyway. Damn. They don't want to listen. Once I've made up my mind that Toman and Mobius are gonna fight, it's gonna happen. Damn. So he doesn't care. Well, at least we got a fight to see, uh, eventually. If you guys fight Mobius, Tommen's finished. I just became friends with you two. Uh, can I say those type of things? Oh, thank you, Draken, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Man's is sensible. That's why I like him. Mm -hmm. Going against Toman. Damn. Dang. Oh no. Did he just cause the conflict? Oh no. This guy's from Mobius. Oh, that's the guy they talked to in the future. Dick Cheese? <laughs> what the hell? Why? Bro, why do you say that? He said, pipe down, Dickie. I'm two years older than Mr. Bastard T. Jeez. Uh oh. Oh my. Surprise, Mikey, don't just kick these guys' asses. Oh. Uh oh. Damn. Is it gonna happen now? I wasn't ready for this. Jeez. Damn, and they all got weapons. This altercation with Mobius is what's going to cause all this. Someone can't fight with Mobius. Damn, is that the end? Oh, damn, it's getting good, man. It's getting really good, actually. We got to see as to why Draken became the person he is. Uh, we got to see that he's actually sensible 
and he actually uses his emotions in certain situations because he knows common sense <laughs> whereas mikey's just kind of empty hearted he doesn't care whatever happens he just wants to do what he wants to do and then now we get to see mobius for the first time actually come into a big group to fight these guys um so i don't really know what's gonna go on i'm assuming in the next episode we're gonna either see a fight or somehow takamichi is gonna make them stop fighting i don't really know but it's a good ass episode let me just say that i'd give this one a 9 out of 10 that was really 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 good this show is good this show is good all right but other than that like i said 9 out of 10 if you guys would rate it any differently leave a comment below and if you guys are new make sure you leave a like rate comment subscribe below and become a butcher today if you're a daily slice of happiness helps out the channel a ton helps me make more videos for you guys so make sure you keep that bell ringing to stay notified for the newest tokyo avengers reactions i'm your host cj and i will see you guys in the next one peace mm -hmm.